All right, fairy tale one, growing pains. So we gotta do this if we wanna be able to use the fairy rings, so let's get started. This quest doesn't have any strict level requirements, but to defeat the level 111 Tanglefoot, your strength level plus your farming level should equal at least 30, or else you won't be able to get any hits on him. And if you have 43 prayer, it makes the fight really easy because you can just pray protect from melee. You need to have completed Lost City and Nature Spirit quests, I've got the links right here, and also in the description box below. It looks like you need a bunch of items, but most of it is just teleport stuff since we cover a lot of ground in this quest. In your inventory, you need some secateurs, or 5 coins, a spade, or 3 coins, your ghost speak amulet, and your draymen or lunar staff. To help the quest go a little bit faster, I recommend wearing any weight reducing clothes you have, Falador teleports, a chronicle or combat bracelet if you have one, Vrock teleports, a lumbridge teleport, a charged amulet of glory would be really helpful, as well as some energy potions for the running bits. In your bank, you should have your druid pouch and blessed silver sickle and food, strength and prayer potions, rings of recoil or a ring of life, and melee armor, and if you want to get everywhere as quickly as possible, I recommend having a drainer, manor, teleport, charge skills necklace, and either a ectophile, salve graveyard teleport, or a Kirill teleport. The quest starts just here in Draenor Village by talking to Marvin the Master Gardener. And resist the urge to pickpocket him if you can, because if you've pickpocketed him recently, you'll have to wait a bit. He says he's been having some problems and ask him, anything I can help with? Then he goes on a long rambling story about how his plants haven't been growing very well. He asks if you've noticed your crops haven't been growing very well either and just say, now that I think about it, you're right. He says you should go investigate by talking to some of the other gardeners. You can talk to any five gardeners found at garden patches around the map, but the five closest are located in these spots, so these are the ones I'll be talking to in this guide. First is a spirit tree patch in Remington, where we will talk to Frizzy Skurnip, another fantastic name. Ask him, are you a member of the group of advanced gardeners? And you'll ask him if he's noticed anything weird. He thinks it's because there hasn't been enough rain. And so until we figure out how to make it rain, we're gonna have some problems. All right, Frizzy rolling that way. Okay, sorry, So it's the fairy magic. Now head north just a bit to the farming patch there. If you need a spade or secateurs, stop by the building here and buy some from Sarah. And then we need to talk to Elstan and ask him if he is one of the advanced gardeners. Oh, wow, look at that beard. Guys out there, please, please, please never comb your beard into two spikes. Anyway, he blames the insects. Next stop is the gardener here, so either teleport to Falador or just run. Talk to Heskel and ask her if she's one of the advanced gardeners. Her explanation for the failing crops is because adventurers go around digging them up all the time. So yeah, she blames us. Moving on, head to the berry patch at the Champions Guild. If you have a combat bracelet or a chronicle, chronicle I think is a holiday item, you can use it to teleport right to the Champions Guild. Otherwise, teleport to Vrock and head south. Talk to Drevin and ask him if he's a group of advanced gardeners member. And he blames the crops on the seasons? So like global warming, I guess. Oh, he says to get to the root of our problems. <laughs> I see what he did there. Uh, I'm not sure why I'm so goofy today. It must be the, the fairy effect. Okay, one last stop, teleport to Lumbridge and then go west to the tree patch. Talk to Faith, and is she an advanced gardener? Yep, she is, and you tell her everything you've heard so far. She says, what if I told you that they're all correct? She says it's fairies behind it. Fairies, no way, not in a fairy tale quest. Our character kind of says, yeah, sure, Faith. Now go back to Martin, either a run or Amulet of Glory teleport. We're here about the quest, and you'll tell him we haven't found any promising solutions yet. He says, go talk to the fairies. That's the best suggestion we got, apparently. So you might remember from the Lost City that the fairy city is found here, in this shed. Make sure you've got your Draymond staff and run there. Equip your staff and click on the door and you'll be transported to Zenaris. Just head south 
into the chamber with the Slayer Master icon. Normally, the Fairy Queen is found around here, but she's missing, so we need to talk to the Fairy Godfather. Ask him where the Fairy Queen is, and she is, how you say, seek. A creature called a Tanglefoot hurt the Queen, and now she's in a magic sleep. And the word of advice. You be careful not to cause the trouble for the folk while you're in Xenaris. <laughs> Love this guy. So, let's go talk to the Fairy Queen's nurse, who is north of the bank. Okay, go into this little nook here and talk to Fairy Nuff. She'll say, go talk to the Fairy Godfather. We'll say, we already did. And then offer to help cure the Queen. She's not very impressed when she finds out that we have absolutely no medical qualifications. She gives you a list of the Queen's symptoms anyway and says take it to Xandar Horfire, who lives in the Dark Wizard's Tower by Falador. So just pop on over to one of the fairy bankers and grab either your skills necklace or a Falador teleport, a Varrock teleport, a Drainer Manor teleport if you have one, and bring some magic protection armor if a level 23 dark wizard sounds scary. Using your Falador teleport or skills necklace, make your way to the tower here. Go to the top floor of the tower and talk to Xandar. He's kind of a cranky dude, but when we say Fairy Nuff sent us, he calms down. We tell him the Fairy Queen has gotten into some trouble after a fight with the Tanglefoot. Anyway, Xandar says go talk to Malignus Mortifer, who knows about the Tanglefoots. Tanglefeet? Leave the tower and go southeast to find Malignus Mortifer. Tell him you need help fighting a Tanglefoot. Oh, I wasn't expecting a mask and a wizard's hat there. Mal says before he tells us how to defeat the Tanglefoot, we've got to do something for him first. Oh, we have to go grave digging for him? Not cool, man. That's how you run into angry zombies. Head to Drainer Manor, either with your Drainer Manor teleport or simply running. Go around to the back of the house where you'll find a grave. So glad we can help this guy with his collection of skulls. Stand on the grave and click your spade to dig up a skull. Okay, got it. Alright, make your way back to him. You can save a minute of running with a Drainer Village Glory teleport, or just use those good old leg ponies. Leg ponies means walking, by the way. Talk to him again about the Tanglefoot, and we'll give him a skull, and he says the only way to defeat a Tanglefoot is with a pair of enchanted Zagaturs. To make these enchanted Zagaturs, we're going to need three items which are different for everyone and pulled from a list of about 30 different items. So I got grapes, an uncut ruby, and joger bones. And you don't have to memorize your items or anything, just finish your conversation with this guy, and then go into your quest log and the items will be there. At this point, most of you non-Iron Men are going to want to make a trip to Varrock and the GE and get your items. Iron Man, you might have a tougher time with this, but the wiki lists how to get all the items, so I'll put a link to it in the description box. We have to take these items to the Mortmire Swamp, which you may recall from the Nature Spirit quest will rot any food you have if you don't have a filled druid pouch. So if you have a food item on your list, either buy some Mortmire mushrooms at the GE and fill the druid pouch, or buy multiples of your items if it's cheaper than the mushrooms and just let them get rotted one by one. I got away with only using three druid pouch items, but you should probably bring six instead. So grab your three items, Secateurs, Ghost Speak Amulet, Draymond Staff, Energy Potion, and Lumbridge Teleport, and if you have food items, bring your druid pouch and Blessed Sickle. And then getting there is a bit of a challenge as well. You can use a Kyril Teleport to get to Canifis, the Shades of Morton minigame teleport if you've completed the Shades of Morton quest, the Ectophile if you've done the Ghosts of Hoyt quest, Salve Graveyard Teleport, or you can run east from Varrock, then going through the trapdoor to the north of the temple and through the weird little dungeon. Go to the entrance of the swamp and click on the gate to enter. 
If you need to gather some Mortmeyer mushrooms, equip your blessed silver sickle stand next to a log or tree and then go into your equipment and right click cast bloom. Pick up the mushrooms and then repeat until you have at least three, then click on your druid pouch to add them. If you don't need to bother with that, just start running south to get to the nature spirits grotto. So here we go. Uh, there's that gas, yeah. And uh, oh gosh, I'm down to one thing left in my druid pouch. Okay, nothing left in the druid pouch. Cutting it a little bit close, but almost there. And quick, 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 quick across the bridge. Well, fell in the river, but safe enough. Put on your ghost speak amulet if you aren't already wearing it and go into the cave. Talk to our old friend, the nature spirit, and you'll tell him we need to defeat a tanglefoot, and then he'll take your three items to enchant the saccateurs, and then he disappears. And if you pray here, you'll get some bonus prayer points, which will come in handy in the upcoming fight. Next, use your Lumbridge Teleport or Home Teleport, and from there, head south into the Lumbridge Swamp to the entrance to Zenaris. Equip your Draymond Staff, then click on the door and you'll be transported to Zenaris. All that's left to do now is just the fight with the Tanglefoot, so head to the bank to the west to grab supplies. So the Tanglefoot attacks with melee, so you'll want to wear some melee armor. If you have the level 43 prayer, it is a pretty easy fight, although it can be kind of long. If you aren't using prayers, know that it can hit up to 11. If you have anything that gives you prayer bonuses, like god armor, or strength bonuses, like climbing boots, wear those. There's no need to bring any weapons, since the only thing that will damage the Tanglefoot is your enchanted saccateurs. So just bring those. Rings of recoil are helpful if you don't have 43 prayer, so bring any that you have. I also recommend bringing prayer potion if you're using prayer, strength or super strength potion, good food, and an emergency teleport if things go poorly since the battle is instanced. And when you're ready, head southeast following the path, and then past the fountain, and then past the fairy ring, and down this little tunnel. And if you have 66 agility, you can take this shortcut, and with 46 agility, you can take this shortcut. And now we're in this room, right by the entrance to the cosmic altar. But for now, we're interested in this passage to the west. Click to squeeze through a gap in the wall, and the gatekeeper says that we're good to go fight the Tanglefoot. Head on down through the tunnel, and oh look, baby Tanglefoots! Don't attack them. And then take the left path when it splits up here. You'll be in the Tanglefoot's chamber. He doesn't seem to be aggressive, so you have time to turn on your prayer and drink some strength potion. Then attack with your saccateurs. Because you're attacking with a weapon that's not really a weapon, and damage is calculated using your farming level, it's probably going to be a long fight. And don't be shy about using your emergency teleport if you need to, because this area is instanced, so anything you lose is gone for good, and you can't come back and get it. Once you defeat the Tanglefoot, it will drop the Queen's Saccateurs. Pick them up, then head back to Zenaris. Go back through this windy bit. And go northeast. Back to the fairy godfather. Talk to him. And he says he'll give the queen's secretaries back to her. And quest complete. Okay, and just two final notes. One, if you equip the green enchanted secretaries when farming, you'll harvest 10% more crops. And two, if you want access to the fairy rings, you don't actually need any of the level requirements for the fairy tale too. You can just go through the steps just enough to use the fairy rings without needing the level 56 gardening. I'll put a link here and in the description box when I have the guide on fairy tale too. Well, that's all for this quest. Remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more of my guides in the future. And thanks for watching.